What's good? Yeah, it's your boy. I'm here with another video. As you guys can see from the title and the thumbnail, today we are taking a look at the first ever park reveal for the goat boat. They changed the cruise ship to the goat boat now. So let me just start straight off with the video off rip. So as you can see, NBA 2K has revealed a nine second video of the new cruise ship, aka the goat boat, bruh. And I gotta watch this a couple times, cause bruh. Yo, why, bruh? Why does this look so fire? I can't deny the fact that off rip. Hold up, let me go back to that area. Off rip, this this area looked crazy to play park at. I'm not gonna lie. I thought it was gonna be the same exact thing, copy and paste. So hopefully this means the city is somewhat different. Because if not, it's a GG's for the city. Because this looks fire. Just off of this quick little preview. Now there's also an article. Um, where we're gonna read more in-depth information on it. So let me go to that for you boys. All right, so as you guys can see, this link will be in the description if you guys wanna read this for yourselves, but I'm gonna go ahead and skip to the best parts. Basically, they're just showing the more details so we can see like real close-ups on it. So it says, check out the Goat Boat three deck layout below. It says Platinum Deck, Trips. Y'all remember Trips? That's the 3v3 court. So it looks like they have only the 3v3 courts in one area. So if we wanna play threes, Hey, I can't, yo, you can't cap and say this is not a beautiful environment, bro. I'm not gonna lie. This right here should be on a PS5. And the city should be on a PS4. Because this is what makes people stay on a PS4. Why would anybody waste their time getting a next-gen console for one game when their environment is better than the next generation, bro? Hey, I could be speaking too soon, but I just think people don't like that next-gen city concept. Like... That concept just not what people like. And unfortunately, we gotta have that for probably about three years. This should be the last year for it. But rate this city though, as you guys can see here. These are the three courts. It says four elevators, two showers. It says server refresh, Gatorade training facility. Then you go to platinum deck. So twos and threes are separated. Yo, that's crazy. That's kind of crazy, bro. So platinum deck, deuces. You get six twos courts, three elevators, two showers. What? Yo, that's crazy, bro. Um, then we got platinum deck moat. Uh, this is only where the five v five. It say one more than last year. Oh, it's two five v five courts now. I ain't gonna lie. Two might be od. It might not get used, but at least they try. Look at the court though. Look at the moat five v five court. This is beautiful. I cannot lie. 2K went crazy on that court, bruh. 2K went crazy. Damn, look at the angles on that. Both of them right next to each other. Yo, this really look like a high-tech, new and improved. They really improved the cruise ship on the PS4, bro. That is insane. All right, so it says two elevators, two showers. It say entrance to excursions, uh, silver deck, promenade, Jordan challenge. So you can go to the Jordan challenge here. I ain't gonna lie. This is beautiful right here. This is fire. That's fire. The wreck lounge. Oh, the wreck is different. They call it the wreck lounge. Okay. So this is the first look at how the wreck looks. And it is on silver deck promenade. So this way we go to the wreck at. The cages is back. Wait. Am I tripping? Oh, no. The cages was there. I just never played it. So, hey, shout out to the people who love cages. I don't play cages, but you guys got y'all cages. Now we got NBA store, swag, rose, sporting goods, wheels, docks, the paint tattoo, uh partnered store partnered stores okay and then uh what's that the galleon is that how you pronounce that uh, i i might be saying that wrong galileon i don't even know how to say that but it say the 1v1 wait the 1v1 yo they get bruh they gave current in a one just a straight 1v1 court bro i'm gonna make a lot of videos here bruh ggs that's too beautiful look at that bro Yo, they went crazy. The brick. Yo, look, this is just early before the city. The city gotta be fire of this fire, bro. PS5 gotta be fire of this fire, but we gonna see. Um, we got something else called the bridge. Wait, let me see. Why is it two separate? So when we go to the silver deck, we got a place called the bridge. What is this? Is this like a private game? Like, why I don't get the bridge? Somebody gotta explain that. But it's a daily pick'em, daily prize. 
two elevators. Then we go to the gold deck. Gold deck is your my court and Annie up. So I say the game room and promenade have merged into a single level this year, making it easier than ever to visit swag in the NBA store. Okay. So I say 1v1, the bridge is the 3v3. In addition, we've added showers, which allow you to quickly change servers. So the showers, if people are confused, that's how you change servers. That's quicker. Elevators have been updated to include fast travel between key points. Okay. So the elevators is how you travel. And then the showers is how you change which server you in. So they have a specific specific place for the 1v1 and a specific place for the bridge is called the for the 3v3 it's called the bridge there's much to explore this year on the goat boat around the ship you'll know the state of the art facilities all right they just talking about the experience more ways to play this year features more variety when it comes to matchmaking have we added no weight gameplay to complement got next spots whether you're itching to suit up with your friends or test your ability to mess with random players in a pickup game you have the ability to pair up quicker in nba 2k23 together got next spots and no weight gameplay will diminish wait times and keep you on the court longer similar to the wreck when you go to join a game you will automatically be matched up all right so they added an automatic little matchmaking seasons preview we get to see the seasons last year we took players on an exotic excursion around the world hold on i don't even want to really read that we are thrilled to announce that we will now revisit the popular so they gonna let us travel again cool throughout the year the goat boat will receive cosmetic updates to match the vibe each season so pretty much the change thing pretty much the same thing all right say so we'll be updated 2v2 3v3 all right we pretty much know that um so it says what's new and say arch rivals okay so this is pretty much new quest so they got new quests um I don't really want to like spend too much time on a quest. All right, so we get the gist of this. Like I said, you guys could click the link in the description if you guys want. But look at these courts, though. 1v1, 3v3. Oh my God. So we're going to end the video with this. Just rate NBA 2K23's Goat Boat in your opinion. What y'all rate it, bro? What y'all think? Y'all can do 1 to 10 in the comment section. This is the official part that you guys or all of us, I'm going to play both gens regardless. Even though they are the same, even though we have the same builder, I still want to experience the cruise ship and I still want to experience next gen gameplay because next gen got that, uh, what is it? That new bad system. I ain't going to lie. That core badge thing, whatever that is that they uh drop but I, I, I gotta experience that that's the only thing now i ain't gonna lie one thing i'm noticing that i kind of don't think i like that much we have six 3v3 courts and six 2v2 courts and they're separated i don't know how i feel about that i feel like that's way too many courts i feel like the parks should be smaller hopefully next gen parks are smaller but it's probably not because next gen be having like nine courts bro in one little area but we just gonna have to wait and see i think that that trailer or that reveal is coming like on the six so be on the lookout for that it's your boy monster make sure you like comment subscribe and we out of here eee!